Morning guys, I'm over at my lease today and um, I'm going to be doing some work on it. I'm going to put some uh, uh, clover out today. Um, we're going to check the uh, deer feeders, check the cams, and uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm all loaded up with wood. I'm going to actually start building a ground, uh, big old box blind, and I'll bring you guys all the process to do that. Um, I, I figured I could do one for probably under 500 bucks, uh, make it at least eight foot long, four foot wide, two to three people can sit in there and be comfortable. Um, I'm not knocking like the, uh, the the big expensive ones, the 3,000 bucks and stuff like that for them. But, uh, I, you know, I, I always like to say if I can do it myself, I'd like to do it myself. And uh, so that's why I went and got a bunch of treated four by fours, uh, treated two by fours, treated plywood, and uh, wrong, nothing to it, but just to do it right, a little bit of hard work. So, uh, so now, as we're getting all set up, I want to show you guys something. See if you guys can see it here. You can see, see the deer print right there. Another one right there. Keep in mind, remember when we created this? If you look back at the other videos, remember I created this trail here. Remember this was a solid wall. I've already opened it, and the deer are already using it. Pretty cool. Very nice, huh? Oh, that's just a rough ideal. A rough ideal where my next post has to go. Once I dig it, I'll square it up. Unfortunately, it's got to go right next to that freaking uh, freaking stuff. So hopefully, that's not gonna be an issue. But, do is I'm setting one post at a time and once I get that post set I'll adjust every post off that one so right now I check to make sure it's plumb it is now make sure she's on this way she's going in okay about right there so now we'll just take this field dirt, kick it in the hole, and we'll just pack it in. Always go back and double check. Now that 
one set. That one's good. Now, let's get the rest of them. Let's get the rest of them square. this is you can always do fine-tune adjustments as you come back and keep adjusting. Right now what we're going to do, we're going to set this first. We know that one's set, so let's go ahead and set this one. Like need to go that way. So when it gets to go that way, I have to loosen this backboard and hold it so it don't move. Okay, I'm gonna check you where at. Perfect. I'm gonna come back and check this side. Should be really good. Okay. It's good. So we know we're good this way. Check it out now. Now it needs to go that way, which is as simple as. I'm gonna go. Put the pressure back in. So we get it where we need it. So we need some more. Okay. Move it a little more. Put the pressure there. Just make more. Back that in. You're supposed to clear. We are. Okay. Back all that in. Okay. That one's set. Now if you see some moving, I'm gonna crosswalk it. What that means is taking the screws, put one in the middle that's on the narrow, and put four in each corner. And that'll keep it from shifting on that single screw. Now I'm just going to do three on this one. Do three on each side. So can I get it at an angle? See the middle one is what everything's pivoting on. And then we put the two sides, this board won't move now. Do the exact same thing right over here on this side. Get that up past it. Not using decking screws um, or construction grade wood screws. You can use nails. The problem with nails is it would expand and contrast. You can loosen these boards up. Then you'll be in a very empty wobbly. So, go ahead and lock this board in. Okay, now what we have is this boat set, this poster set, this board locked in, and this board as up to here is locked in. Now we gotta go down here and do it. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave this post alone, we're gonna come to this back post and get it set. Okay. I'll see where we're at. I know we need to go towards these. Okay, so let's grab it and move that way. Let's see what we've done. According to this, right there. Okay, so, because we don't want it to go back this way, we need to put dirt on the back side of it, or some of this clay. So let's go ahead and back it in there. Go ahead and check it again. Perfect. Now let's check this way. Okay, so now we've got to check this up. And it needs to go this way. So if we get it to go that way, once again, just put dirt on the opposite side, and then we'll move it. Same process we did down there. Okay. Now, let's take this thing. Okay. Now let's lock this backboard into this one. Now this post, not only do you gotta make sure it's this way, you gotta make sure the whole structure's square. I'll show you how to do that. It's actually pretty easy. Okay, what you wanna do is you measure diagonally. Okay, so the distance from that corner post over there to this post should be the same from that corner post to this post. Okay. Now we're gonna measure from right here, this corner, to the back side corner on that side. Okay. So like I said, it don't have to be 100% perfect. Build so the tree bond here. Okay, try to make sure all the bows and are out of the best we can. And it looks like we're at 102 and a half. 102 and a half. Okay. Put this up. I what we think is pretty little. Put this up. Now here's where it'll help you add an extra hand. If you don't, you don't. Just by looking, it's leaning that way. So, go ahead and we'll go check it. I'm pretty sure it's leaning. Yep, sure it is. Try not to drop your level. It's not really good for me. I'll take a little more time. Now, do something with all the elements right here. I'm going to look at the back.
I don't forget to come in. So I have more to come here. Help me. Help. Then they come in. The wolf. Well guys, that's a uh, really good start for a day right there. I got the platform up. I can start building walls. I still got to do cross bracing to sturdy the legs and stuff. But uh, you guys kind of get the idea. Now keep in mind, it kind of looks like we're going to be sitting there, but that's not where we're sitting. We're going to be up here. Okay? I'm going to build a box and everything up there. So that's how I do it. Like I said, we're going to cross brace all that and uh, all that good stuff. So. Uh, it really can be a uh, dual purpose, dual purpose uh, blind because, like I said, we can sit up here, and then if I wanted to, I can have my son and stuff say he don't want to sit up there. We can always sit down inside here with the chairs because I'm going to brush all that in.